We're using iRay for the Morgan competition. iRay is a relatively new addition to 3ds Max and consequently not all of its functionality has been exposed in the user interface of Max. So there's a really nice little utility here called the iRay Manager from the You Can Do It VFX website. And this exposes a whole load of additional information, things like um, accessing the CPU and all the GPUs, uh, some new materials and that sort of thing. Now, you can download this for free. Just drag and drop that downloaded file into the user interface of Max. Get rid of Windows Explorer and you can see there that it tells me I've downloaded it and installed it and I need to restart Max. Now I've already done this, so I'm just going to customize the user interface to include that new tool on a toolbar somewhere. So I particularly want to put it on to the rendering pull down menu. So I'll go and find the You Can Do It IRA Manager. There it is. And I'm going to add that now to the rendering pull down menu. So there's the rendering pull down menu. Those are the standard functions. And we just drag and drop the IRA Manager on there. Now you don't need to save or do anything else, you just hit close. Then just go and have a look at the rendering menu, and there it is, IRAM. When you run this, as I said earlier, it gives you access to whether or not you're using all of your CPU cores, all of your GPU cores, but it also gives you some additional tools, things like this mat. The mat is a ground shadow, so we can cast shadows onto that JPEG image that we've got in there as the background. Now you can adjust the height of the ground, just leave it at zero, zero is fine. So we're actually going to get a shadow cast onto a 2D picture by a 3D object. We'll let the results speak for themselves. So now we've got a rendering that looks decent. I've changed my scene around a little bit, swapped out the background, turned the car around. We're going to have a quick look at the materials, so you can go mad with different colors and paint finishes and that sort of thing. One of the things that the IRA Manager does is gives you access to this new IRA material. Now that list of options on here looks a little bit daunting to start with, but when you investigate it, there's all sorts of options in there like uh, metallic paint, flex sizes, there's some standard materials there like leather, uh, aluminium, brush metal. We'll have a quick look at some of these nice ones like the chameleon paint. So if you just drag and drop that chameleon paint onto the body of the Morgan, assign it to the whole selection. That way the whole bodywork gets covered in the same material. Quick render. And now you can begin to see some of these new colors coming through. These materials would be quite difficult to create unless you had something like this iRay material manager. So I'll just make a clone of that and maybe change that paint over to perhaps the cranberry color. We'll just get rid of the material editor so it's not in the way and we'll re-render the view. And with these clones of the render window, you can begin to build up quite a nice catalog of different ideas and concepts as you go. There's one last little trick I wanted to show you. The body is actually a group of objects. Now, if you ungroup it, each part of the bodywork can be selected as an individual object. So you can go around and you can start painting different parts of the bodywork in different colors. When you get into the detail and you start doing some of the suspension or maybe some of the wheels, that sort of thing, then it's worth breaking those groups up and assigning different materials to different selections. Remember just to create a new material each time you go. Don't be lazy like I have and rename your materials as we did with the environment and the background switcher earlier on in the tutorial. So there's the end of your 10 minute tutorial on using iRay, 3ds Max and generating some images of this fantastic little Morgan. I hope this is just the beginning of what you can achieve. Good luck in the competition.